Now in this session, I'm going to show you how to set up a holiday passage mode suppression schedule. This is something new in version 5.5.3 of DL Windows, and it only affects the network locks. Now for it to work with the network locks, you will have to have the latest version of firmware. And currently, uh, as of September 13th, 2019, the firmware is available for the PDL 6100, the PDL 6500, and the ETPDLN. Now you can get that firmware from our website. You can go to alarmlock.com, click on the resources, and then under tech support, click on software. And it will take you to the technologies page of uh, NAPCO Security Technologies, our software page. And then you can scroll down and you see the three versions available. It's version 61M for the ETPDLN, the PDL 6100, and the PDL 6500. So if you're not registered to get the uh, access to the website, just click on register, fill in all the information. Uh, when you get down to your brand of interest, just check Alarm Lock. Do not check any of the others. Create your own username and password, and you will have access to the website to download the software and the firmware. Now, to create it in the DL Windows, you pick your uh, lock profile. Uh, again, Networks Locks only. It will not work for the legacy locks that you have to walk door to door to program. Click on the profile and then click on Schedules. It will open up the Schedule screen. And under the Time Zones, you'll see a couple of added uh, buttons up here. You have your Add, your Edit, uh, Print, and Delete. The Edit is new, so what you'll do is you'll click on Edit, and it will uh, change over to a box that says Holiday Time Zone, and it will allow you to change the name of that time zone. So you check the box, Holiday Time Zone, change the name, and I'm just going to say Christmas Break 2019, and then click Save. Now when you go, when you go back to that uh, time zone, you'll notice that it has, instead of the, uh, our regular month, day of the month, and day of the week, it actually has a holiday start on, uh, and then a date, and a holiday uh, end on, and a date and time. You still have your all of your enables, and you can set up seven different time zone uh, events here. Okay, so I'm just going to set up the one. So I'm going to click on it, uh, the start time, uh, the, I'm sorry, the holiday start on time uh, date a couple of times, and then it'll open up a, where you can click on a, a calendar. So you scroll through and you find the dates on your calendar. I just picked randomly December 16th, 2019. Then I change my start time, and I'm going to change it for any time prior to the first um, passage mode schedule. It does not have to be set for the exact uh, time as in our other holiday schedules. So you want to pick it uh, before that uh, actual first passage mode start time. Now, it will override all passage mode schedules between the dates that you set here. So if you have five passage mode schedules in a day, it will override all of them. Okay. So then you set your holiday end date. I'm going to say January 3rd, and I'm going to pick the time after my last passage mode schedule. So say 8 p.m. And then I'm going to uh, disable all if I need to, or you, you, know, you can just uh, uncheck all the boxes. But uh, again, you can set up to seven different time zones here. Now down in the bottom under the schedule entry, you're going to describe it. I'm just going to say uh, Christmas break 2019. Pick my event. Now you see with the holiday schedule, you're going to have a new enable holiday schedule. This is for the holiday suppression, okay? the passage mode holiday suppression. If you're going to just set it for one single holiday or passage mode and that's it, one specific date. You can do it this way, uh, but you can also do it the uh, original way that we used to and set up just a lock schedule for that one day. And I do have a video that shows you how to do that. Okay, So you're going to pick Enable Holiday Schedule. You're going to pick your time zone. I'm going to say Christmas Break 2019. And then again, I like to always open the schedule view. 
and then click yes and now you see that your all of your uh, holiday uh, schedule two entries here on December 16th at 5 a.m. Uh, it will enable the holiday schedule on January 3rd at 8 p.m. it will disable the holiday schedule which is the holiday passage mode suppression schedule.